After more than a decade of paralysis from the neck down, the one thing Jan Scheumann wanted to be able to do was feed herself a bar of chocolate. Using this brain-controlled robotic arm at the University of Pittsburgh, Jan has been able to do just that. Doctors were blown away by the level of skill she achieved with the arm, controlled by her thoughts alone. It uses a new kind of computer program that translates natural brain activity used to move our limbs into commands to move the robotic arm. There are things I regret not doing when I was able, you know, not skydiving, but some adventures I would love to have had and I regret not doing them now. And this, this is the ride of my life. I keep saying this is, this is the roller coaster. This is the skydiving. It's just fabulous, and I'm enjoying every second of it. The 52-year-old had an operation to insert two tiny grids of electrodes into the left half of her brain, where movements are controlled. Wires from the electrodes run to connectors on her head, and these are then plugged into the robotic arm. The signals from her brain are then interpreted and translated as movement. We want her to be able to use this uh, easily without working hard and enjoy eating and, and bring that aspect of everyday life back to her. In the future, doctors hope to build sensors into the robotic arm so patients can feel the texture and temperature of the objects they're touching.